everybody to the Eaton Family Thunderdrome for the 10th edition of the All In Tournament. Race 1, Lane 1, we got the Ravenger ST, the rookie. Up against another rookie, it's the Alfa Romeo GTA. Up the middle, race favorite, looking good. It's a Nissan Sephiro. He's won more championships than anyone in this race. Let's see if he can back that up today. In lane four, we got a former Ute Nation champion in the Rivian R1T. And lane five, it's Velocitar. Wow. This should be a good race. I'm excited to see the Rivian up against the Sephiro. And the Ravenger on the outside lane should be in the mix as well. All right, who's going to be first car into the championship race? <laughs> Good job to all. Up from AO, not to the Ravager who's screaming away, but the Sephiro is coming up hard up the middle. It's head to head. Oh, but the sign says three. It's going to be close, but yes, the Nissan Sephiro beat him on the line. What a close, tight finish to that race between the Sephiro and the Ravager. It was very, very close. I'm thinking maybe that nudge the Alfa Romeo gave the Ravenjo down the bottom of the bottom of the drop. Maybe that pulled him back just a little. All right, we're off to race two, and we've got the defending champion in here. It's Roadster Bite. Oh, he is unbeatable in the fantasy league, and he came here and he's doing the same thing. Unbeatable. To his left, we have the Rookie. This is a beautiful little Shelby 427. That's an awesome looking car. Love it. To his right, another Rookie. It's the VW Golf. Purple People Eater. Love it, Purple. This is beautiful. Then we have the Hummer now. We know he is quick. Very quick. He's going to be the main opponent against the road the Roadster Bite. And lane five, yet another rookie, the Toyota GR86 Cup. Ah, in his uh, qualification race, he was a bullet. I'm really looking forward to see his first race here. But he's up against the champ. Wouldn't that be something if he could take the champ out? Let's see if he's got the wheels. Hummer's getting to the lead, Jerry is right in his hammer, here comes Rooster by Pastor Shelby, Shelby's trying to hang on though, but look at the Hummer! The Hummer has taken out the champion, we're going to get a new champion, what a upset, what a win! It looks like I pumped up the Rooster by's tires too much, he couldn't handle it, Hummer takes him out. We're going to get a new champion, and it's Hummer versus the Sephiro at the minute. we got three more to go, so that means race three, lane one, we have the rookie. Ho oh, ho, he's a beauty, isn't he? Lamborghini Huracan Storato. Fine looking vehicle. Lane two, and race favorite, the former three-time champion and daddy's choice champion, we have Leda Crater. Up the middle, we got B -b -b Bone Shaker all the way from the Unlimited Class Hot Rods. We know he is hella quick, and I'm always looking forward to seeing him up against Later Crater. That's a mouth watering, a very mouth watering prospect. We got the GT86 from Toyota in four, and the Dragon Jewels champion, uh, Peugeot 308 in five. This is going to be a very quick race. What can the Peugeot do? Can he take out Leda Crater? Well, let's find out. Good drop to 308. He's onto the fat the inside. Leda Crater is even him in two. Here comes Bone Shaker. It's Leda Crater taking the win. And the Bone Shaker, he managed to push 308 to third. With that good win, Leda Crater brings his total career wins to 10. Not bad for the rookie. Four championships. Hummer has seven wins. Oh, and the Sephiro, he notched up another 
Milestone, 20 career wins. Wow, what a legend. All right, race four, lane one. We've got the Dodge Viper convertible, sexy car. Oh, I love this one here, the 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302. Wow, what a beauty. Toby loves his Boss. Very, very quick for a mid-premium. Beautiful car. Up the middle, I'm looking forward to seeing how he'll go against the Boss. Because this Chevy Bel Air is pretty darn quick. Ah, I fancy his chances. But he's up against two mainstays in this competition. We got the uh, the Corvette convertible ZR1 in four. And wow, we got a former champion here in the Ford F-150, dual cab lightning. He is the favorite for this race. They gotta bring it to him. Let's see. How are they going to go? Good start. The F-150 leads onto the flat. The Chevy is getting past the boss on the outside. He's trying to run down that youth, and the youth's got a great lead and takes the victory. Oh, and my Bel Air beats Toby's boss. Hey, how's them apples, Toby? Good win, though, to the youth. Milestones just keep on fall, falling. This is the 15th career win to the F-150, and he's up against Letter Crater again. He ended his reign not long ago. He'll be looking forward to doing that again. So I'm thinking, as the favorite, new favorite for the race, it's the Ford F-150. But you can't count any of these guys out. They're just so good at winning. All right, one spot up for grabs, last race, race five. Lane one, we got a veteran here from the Muscle Car League. It's the uh, Mercury Cougar. Oh, this is a great looking car. He's got a good chance here. And we got the Ford Escort Cosworth in two. A rookie, his first uh, appearance at the All-In Tournament, the C8R Corvette. He looks very good. And we've got the, oh, this is a beautiful, beautiful car here, old retro racer. It's the Porsche 904 Carrera. He's won a few races here. And then we got the Ford F-150 van, sorry, F-100 van. Don't let his looks fool you, he is very quick. All right, the favorite for this race is the Carrera in four, but it's a lot closer than we think, so, all right. Let's find out who's going to get that last spot in the big dance. Carrera and F100 heading on the inside. They're bashing into each other. Look at that Mercury Cougar on the outside. He's ripped the head. Corvette was coming up hard up the middle. That's a good tight race, but it's the Cougar winning. What a great meet it's been, this 10th edition of the All-In Tournament. We've had a couple of upsets, but not that great an upset. Most of the favourites have gotten through. And this is what the championship race looks like. In lane one, we got the Nissan Sephiro. Lane two, Hummer. Lane three, former three-time champion, later Crater. Lane four, former champion, Ford F-150 Lightning dual cab. And lane five, his first championship race in the All-In Tournament, it's the 68 Mercury Cougar. Doesn't he look great? Oh, anyone can win this, but the favorite is definitely, definitely the F-150. But later Crater would love to get a bit of revenge. Let's see if he can. Hummer's running really quick today. Oh, this is mouth-watering. Let's get it on. Let's see who's gonna win. Cougar spots off the market, here comes the lightning. Hummer has lead past the Sephiro, Lita Crater's coming up fast on the inside, but oh, it's the Hummer, I told you he was running fast today. He has upset everybody, what a great win, he's first. And there you have it from right field, the Hummer on his seventh try in championship races, gets a championship, a good one to win, and he beat out two very quick cars in the Sephiro and Lita Crater. Yes, Sephiro 
got ahead of later Crater. It was very, very close between these three cars. Fantastic racing. The favourite, well, he was well out of it. I started out all right, as did the Cougar, but on the flat, that you couldn't match it with the history, guys. All right, I hope you enjoyed the All In Tournament 10th edition. Please like and subscribe. See you guys next time. Keep racing.